Hello and welcome to DC Tech Talks. In this video, we'll try and learn how to set up our decode barcode printer and install the useful softwares for the same. With all the printers, you get a CD in which you will get all the useful softwares and drivers which you can see in this particular folder, right? But just in case, if you happen to lose the, that particular CD, you simply have to go to decodeinternational.com, right? Where you can find all the useful softwares. We'll just show you the website. This is the website decodeinternational.com and in the download section, you'll be able to find all the useful drivers and softwares. So let's try and click on Windows driver and start the installation process. By the way, installation process of all the decode barcode printers is absolutely same. So if you've learned how to download one printer, you've learned how to download every decode barcode printer. Right, let's click next, check on run, and then you have to click finish. So that this will start our installation process. So we have to wait for the window to pop up. Yes, so this is our install wizard. Let's click on next. This is the default printer name. You can leave it as it is, or if you want to rename your barcode printer, you can rename it as per your convenience. Let's click on finish and wait for the installation to complete. So this completes our installation successfully. We'll have to close this particular window and then we'll have to go to the control panel which in this case we have saved this particular shortcut on the desktop devices and printer section this is our default printer name 2054 we'll go to the printer properties firstly we'll have to check for ports so if your printer accept the default port then well and good otherwise you'll have to test individual ports one by one to see which port is being accepted by your barcode printer in general we have to go to the preference tab and we have different default label sizes otherwise you can set up your own custom size uh, for example let's name this particular label as 100 into 50 mm we have named it then let's resize it this is the format of 100 into 50 mm barcode label right so let's go to the advanced options once we've set up the custom size so so if we have some tolerance around the label we can select horizontal or vertical offset otherwise we can straight away go to graphics select the contrast of the labels which we can more often than not select on none we have to select the thermal printing technology which is direct thermal in case of amazon and flipkart labels and thermal transfer in case of ribbon barcodes after that we have to select the media type if these labels are with gaps without gaps with black marks or continuous rolls we have to select that then in options we have we can select the darkness of the uh, label or the print which we want once we select the darkness, we are ready to apply the changes and print the test page. Right? So let's try and print the test page. This is the test page. Let's try and print this again. Now we have the second label and this completes the setup of our barcode printer. Hope you like the video and thank you so much for watching.